history of outdoor products. A review of its growth, diversified products, and dealer profit potential. This is a graphic record of steady market growth of Alice Chalmers' outdoor products since their introduction in 1961 through the Farm Equipment Division. This growth has been of particular significance to Alice Chalmers since it was our first endeavor in consumer products. For perspective, let's look back over the short yet impressive progress we've made in the tough consumer market. Until the fall of 1961, Alice Chalmers Farm Equipment Division branches were primarily marketing agricultural tractors, equipment, tools, and such. Recognizing our unique distribution position, having a well-known brand name, we produced the now familiar B1 tractor designed for the homeowner's lawn and garden work. It sported a seven and a quarter horsepower engine and accommodated a 32 or 42 inch rotary mower. It was built in the image of its big brothers and offered equivalent features. Almost overnight, B1 was a success and spawned a national dealer network. Until 1963, the B1 was our only market entry, and he was growing lonely. In the fall of that year, we expanded the product line to include the B10 tractor, a nine horsepower unit, accommodating a 42 inch mower, which was basically a bigger and better B1. We also introduced the four and six horsepower snow throwers, which were single stage self-propelling units. Although the B-10 replaced the B-1, our parts and service family had four members. Our manufacturing, dealer, and service growth had really begun. In 1965, the Big Ten tractor was introduced, replacing the B-10. This tractor had 10 horsepower and offered multiple attachments to the consumer. As before, dealer enthusiasm and consumer acceptance was immediate. So when 1966 arrived, the parts and service line had grown to five units and plans called for a major concentration of effort in this area. Our dealers, realizing the potential of these and future products, were wisely acquiring servicing equipment and parts and began planning future inventories. In 1966, we began marketing two new tractors, the new B-10, with a 10 horsepower engine which replaced the Big Ten and the all-new B-12 with a synchro balanced engine accommodating all the attachments of its predecessors. That year, we also renamed our snowblowers Snow B and added a new seven horsepower two-stage unit with optional electric starting. The Mo B, our first riding mower, was brought out and named the Mo B-5. By fall of 1966, our parts and service responsibilities had expanded to nine units. We and our dealers were not only growing more aware of the value of the parts and service units for new sales, but our dealer statistics had built up an undeniable record of the superior success enjoyed by those dealers who carried the full line and had the equipment and parts to service the units already in the field. The year of the big parade of products, that was 1967. We introduced an unprecedented 16 new products, and our dealers became very busy people indeed. Full-line stocking included the new B-112, advanced-styled, completely new 48-inch mower with variable transmission as standard equipment. Here was superior competition for the new innovations appearing in competitive units. Here is the new B110. Great new styling, optional high-low transmission. And a complete new line of Mo-B riding mowers. Two five-horsepower mowers with a 26 and 32-inch cut, and a seven-horsepower with a 32-inch cut. And now, our initial entrance into the walking mower market with four all-new walk-behind rotary mowers a 19-inch push type, a 22-inch self-propelled mower, a 22-inch push type, and a 21-inch high-wheel mower. 
these units incorporated many far advanced features, including belt drives, large rear wheels, and group control. Further diversification of the outdoor power equipment line introduced rotary tillers in three, four, and five horsepower units. The four and five horsepower models featuring reverse transmissions. The next product to enter the line was a trailer named the Tow B, a 10 foot 10 inch low slung tilt back trailer, tailor made to haul all these products. A traveling lawn sprinkler, which was our first promotional or self selling item, joined the line in the winter of the same year. Next was a sensational new concept in off the road vehicles, christened the Terra Tiger an all-terrain vehicle. Its all-wheel drive and high-traction flotation tires make it an all-weather, go-anywhere rig. So by the end of the year, we were responsible for maintaining parts and service for 24 units, selling successfully throughout the country. Yes, we have come a long way since 1961 when we introduced our first product to 24 in just six short years. But we're not here to talk about the past or to pat each other on the back for the job we have done. We're here to plan our responsibilities for the future. In 1968, our newly named Outdoor Products Department will begin selling 10 or more additional products by year's end, which will bring the line close to 38 products. And don't be surprised if we expand our sporting line. This is an outstanding success story made possible by the marketing process and planning by Alice Chalmers and by you, our dealers, who have the ultimate responsibility for stocking parts and servicing a line that has grown from one model to a complete line with over 100,000 units in the field that will need your parts and service. We're meeting this challenge by solidly backing our dealers with forceful selling aids, including brochures, catalog sheets, audiovisuals, point of purchase materials, and a research and development program which keeps our dealers in a superior competitive position. Our dealers meet this position challenge by progressively updating their dealerships and planning the future, and thus enjoy this story of growth, product excellence, and profits with outdoor products.